Oh, yeah. Hi, everybody. The pup did not make it today. He did not get to come over here. Because I knew we were going to be getting into some food and he would eat it all. Yeah. I was trying to save some food for me and Jeff. Thanks, everybody, for coming over. I completely forgot about this. We're having to eat later stuff. And I... Man, I'd stuffed his face before this. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, when we're done, Drew finally says, you know, we still got a lot of stuff to eat later. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. All right, let's start into this. I'm going to read the newspaper article uh, here in just a little bit, so y'all hear you into that. Uh, this is what I'm most looking forward to, so I can go first or save for last, whatever one. That's going to be my favorite there. Okay. This is the one that, this is the other one that didn't get busted. Oh. Uh, scampi and lemon. Knickknacks. Scampi and lemon. The other ones were kind of like some Cheetos. <laughs> we can't see the chat at all. Uh, it's it. Uh, he said it's hella blurry. Let me try to log in on yours. So what is that? The scampi and... Scampi and lemon. Oh, is it? It's like a Cheeto. more like one of those puff things than the actual Cheetos. Not yeah. much flavor to it. It's, I yeah. mean, it's kind of plain. Yeah. A little bit of lemon. You know, I could just flip it since we're not looking at it. Then I have to end it and go again, though. What, to flip the camera around? I'm going to try right now. Boom. Hang tight. One second. Boom. That should be way oh, better. Can you pull up the chat on my phone? That should be way better now, guys. Sorry about that. I know that the front of my screen is super scratched up, but it should be better now, but we can't. I can't see you on the chat. I've yes, never pulled that. up a chat on uh, my phone. All right. These are called uh, bruschetta. Delectably toasted. Delicious and light snack breads with tomato and oregano. That sounds really good. Just turn your volume down. This is what we should have had with dinner. I'm going to wait for you on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we should have. It's like a, almost like a half a bagel. Like if you cut one of those small bagels, you know? Cool. No, we got like a little pizza bagel. Cool. I'm gonna stuff my gob. <laughs> like a crouton. Mm -hmm. Break break these up and put them in a salad. Mm -hmm. Suitable for vegetarians and vegans. I think that's like saying. Sorry. I think that's like saying this causes cancer in the state of California. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just playing. <laughs> Sorry, California. <laughs> What's next? Slabs, thick and big, chunky potato crisps, hand cooked with olive oil. Turkey roast. Oh. Are there any notes? Are we eating this stuff right? Yeah, we're eating it right this time. They made it easy on us.
Man, those little crouton things were actually really good. Oh, yeah. Those were thick. They got some crunch to them. Nice seasoning. Not bad at all. I'm still on the last one. Those are kind of dry. Great on a salad, salad with some on a salad. Yeah. Italian dressing. Mm-hmm. What about those? That pack of salad. No, this is the eggs and chips one. What is this though? We're Pickle to be this relish. On the chips? Maybe we're supposed to eat these on the chips. Did you read the instructions? Well, there wasn't any instructions this time. We didn't follow them last time, so no, they, just said, they just said no puns in them. Yeah, us foreigners don't know what we're doing with their food. Hey, Fifi. Oh, yeah, it definitely tastes like eggs. Like eggs? Yeah. What does it say? Egg and chips. Oh, well. I don't know about that. I mean, not as good as eggs. Turkey roast. This is turkey roast. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, these aren't bad, the egg and chips. It almost smells like egg. Mm -hmm. I like the turkey roast better. Oh, these are really good. I'm going back to those right there. Hit the meaty pud. For the record, this definitely counts as a Definitely counts as one of my videos for November. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the egg and chips. Put butter on those croutons, yeah. What is the, um, what is the, I thought they didn't say chips. Egg and chips. Crisps. Oh, this is like a fry. That's more like a, yeah, that's french a crisp, fry. man. An egg french fry. Ooh. <laughs> that's the egg one. It's really weird. It tastes like an egg. But not as good as an egg. Yeah. It's because of the salt. If it had pepper. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. That's weird. <laughs> no meaty twiglets. Pug. No, no twiglets. We already been there and done that. The meaty pug. You gotta cook it in the microwave. Pickle relish shots. Rhetoric grass. See, don't make fun of California. Pickle relish shots. Pickle relish shots? Yeah. It was shots of what? A pickle relish. I don't know. We're not going to take shots of it. They're saying take shots of it. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing that? You, know, you got a shot glass? No, I don't. I think that's the right answer anyway. <laughs> what is oh, this thing? potato in the oven built on the rock homestead. Wait for it to be done. You don't want to get cake. a baked potato out before it's time. Mm. Oh. Those... Egg crisps are making me thirsty. Chocolate. Java, is that coffee? Maybe they're coffee cakes. Yeah. I probably sound really dumb. I think I'm going to let you bite in first. Go your way. What am I buying into first? It's Java cakes. Jaffa. Jaffa cakes. Jaffa? Jaffa? I don't know. Jaffa! It's probably coffee. Though. Looks, like, it looks chocolate. like chocolate. I know. Can't go wrong there. Oh, yeah, you can. Are we ready? I'm ready. Is there any type of. No? Mmm. Good? Oh, it's not soft. chocolate. Yeah. It's, it's really soft. soft. What is that, like a fig topping? It's way better than chocolate. Whatever it is. like Fig Newtons. It's better than Fig Newtons. Do too. you read it? Does it say figs? I don't know. What are we eating? What are you... <laughs> this is way better than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a hard chocolate cookie. No, it's chocolate and orange. Oh. Mmm. Really soft. Mm -hmm. 
And in this middle part where it's raised, there's like a little filling. It was the orange I was thinking. Well. Oh. How are we how are we gonna do this? I have no idea what it is yet. Well it says we have to microwave it. Ask somebody. I gotta I gotta watch comments. How do we do the we got a mi we have microwave, microwave it. hooked up? Yeah. I can make that happen real fast if you want. I think I'm going to go back to the roast thing. Alright, I'm going to try this uh, small chunk pickle stuff. <laughs> you you got to read the last instruction. Let's see. Leave your stand for 30 seconds carefully. Uh, oh, wow! <laughs> it says carefully remove bowl and tuck in. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Did it say that in the comment? No. Oh. I was just reading it. It actually read. says tuck in. I'm like, yeah, it says tuck in right <laughs> here. Oh, man. How fun oh, is this? Did we, uh, we've done everything but the, the good chips yeah. and the Thai sweet chili. See, that, I don't know how hot that's going to be. Eh, it won't be that I'm not bad. a huge fan of the Thai. Oh. We're not going through the marmite again. No, 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 but dude. You want to hold it real fast so I throw this Yeah, away. that smells like. It tastes like, it smells like pickle at the very end. Yeah. It almost smells like a McDonald's uh, cheeseburger. And it's upside down. <laughs> All right, on a turkey roast. Oh, yeah, on a turkey roast. Jaffa cakes, the uh, name for Jaffa Israel, where they grow oranges in the desert. Cool. Now it's actually pretty. This is I've what, never seen those before. If you mix ketchup with pickles, you want to eat that on a trip? Thai chili. Thai sweet chili. Flavor. Flavor. Walkers. Blue Van Man got on the bag of walkers. You didn't see that? What? Blue Van Man. He Someone... was on a bag of walkers? <laughs> Somebody made a meme and put it on his Instagram. Did he get paid as much as Mariah Carey? <laughs> Ketchup, relish, ketchup, relish. Yeah, those aren't bad. Walker's is uh, same parent company as Lay's. Lay's in the U.S. But I've never gotten anything like that. These are these are gently, mildly spicy. Small chunk pickle. Kicks up a little bit as you go. Branston. Branston, yeah, since 1922, and uh, this is like a relish, almost like a, tastes like a ketchup relish. Anyway, it's pretty good. I like weird sauces because I, I don't like to eat things that are dry. I like to eat stuff with sauce. So. Let's get in this newspaper article. A grilled cheese with pickles. And that stuff. Branston pickle with cheese sandwich. Now we know. How does that look? A celebrity. Okay. Cheese. Meals on Wheels. How Blue Van Man's culinary exploits turned him into a YouTube sensation. I prefer celebrity. Celebrity. <laughs> A man who who road tests new food and other products in his food transit van, Ford Transit van, has become a surprise YouTube star. What's the surprise? 
He's got, yeah. celebrity, he's got celebrity written all over him. What's the surprise? Why? Because they didn't do it? <laughs> <coughs> Blue Van Man, whose real name is Dave, started his YouTube channel in September of 2017. Two years on, he has he has almost hit the coveted 100,000 subscriber mark. The 50-year-old <coughs> Borrow Upon Soar. Bar borrow? I thought that was like a... B-O-R-O-U. Is it hyphenated? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know how they do that stuff. Really. Made his first video after he was inspired by his wife's favorite YouTubers. He said, I used to work 12-hour shifts. I needed something to do at home outside of work. My wife watches a lot of YouTubers, and I thought, I can do that too. I wasn't looking for stardom or this kind of fame. I just wanted a hobby. Dave's first video featured him reviewing a pack of razors, the first in a long line of products he has reviewed on this channel. He said, I would describe my channel as a normal bloke having a chat with his followers. I just review anything that pops into my mind. I've reviewed food, razors, car washes, special brushes used to clean your conservatory. I don't plan what I'm going to review. I just go through the internet and look for new things I can try. I also like to fly around the local area in my van and promote local businesses if I can. If, if in his first 18 months on YouTube, Dave's subscriber count was climbing slowly before receiving massive boosts, he explained February this year. I had 2,400 subscribers and then one day I started to get messages through about being featured on someone else's channel. A YouTuber called True Jordy, who has 1.6 million subscribers. Made a number of videos reacting to Dave's channel. The extra exposure produced a spike in popularity and has given him 85,000 subscribers. Dave said, I found this channel and saw that he had reviewed me and that's how it all started. Now I walk around and people are stopping me in the streets and asking to have photos of me. It is absolutely unreal and brilliant. I owe so much to them. I owe so much to them and I would, wouldn't be in this position I am without True Jordy. Since then, Dave has met True Jordy and featured in his videos on his channel, as well as his podcast, The Kickoff. That's really cool, man. And, uh, you know, Blue Van Man, he kind of played it off because it was just like the local paper. But I think that that's almost better, you know, like that he's making such a big splash in his local community. That what else is there but a local paper? Yeah. You know, there's, there's a few large national papers out there but our local papers are where it's at man who cares about them big national uh the success of blue man man has met dave who works in a warehouse no longer has to do night shifts and can supplement his income with the money he earns from youtube besides the money though his videos have had other significant impacts on his life one notable video that has opened the door for dave was his very open and honest review video about how he got out of thirty-five thousand in debt he said, that is my favorite video that I made. The response we have had has been amazing. I've had emails thanking me for making the video. They have also contacted by a number of teachers asking him to speak in schools to help children to understand money a bit better. He said, I don't pretend to be an expert on money. I had no education on money when I was at school. If I had the choice now, I wouldn't want to learn French. I'd want to learn about balancing and budgeting. The best bit out of it all for Dave, though, is the response he gets from his fans. He said... I had one guy get in touch with me and tell me he had serious depression and I had brought a little light into his life. To know I can make that kind of difference is amazing. So here's again the article. Hopefully you'll see that. That's really, really cool. And, uh, these guys have been so supportive to me and Jeff as well, on top of sending us, you know, some stuff yeah. like this and, and giving us some love. So uh, they always are first or second to comment on our videos behind Sherry. And, uh, and, uh, True Jordy, somebody I never heard of before, helps Blue Van Man, and then he helps us. And yeah, it's a small world. So cool. And Let's I got to go outside sure. a minute. Supposed to make sure what? So it's just a big circle. Yeah. Well, I think that we'll have to wait on the meat puds, unfortunately. Meaty puds. But, um, go ahead. Do you have a microwave? I, 
I don't I have to have one. Well, I have a little toaster thing. It'll be the same way. I'm sure I can cook it in there. But I hope Jeff will sign up for this. We'll both review this in a in a different video. Just like throw it in a video, just us trying. It. Yeah, because I'm stuffed. There are two of those in there, right? Yeah, there's two of them, so we can both have one. But Jeff's microwave isn't set up, so. I'm just gonna run through everything that we tried again. Bruschetta, delicate toasted, delicious and light snack breads with tomato and oregano. And this is um, this is the one that's kind of like a crouton, vegetarian and vegan friendly. Slabs, we had two different ones. This is uh, slabs, thick and big. Chunky potato crisps. This is the turkey roast flavor, which is really, really good. And uh, this other one was egg and chips, which was kind of weird. But it wasn't bad. It was just definitely weird. It says that they are both cooked with olive oil. This was the Jaffa Cakes. And uh, it says, which Jaffa eater are you? The scoffer, ready, steady, gone, pass me the next one. I don't know if that's me, but they are pretty good. Alright, and then here's another look at that uh, meaty puds thing in case I didn't get a good one. And it says you just uh, open using ring pull lid, cook for 90 seconds, turn upside down in the microwave, let it stand for 30 seconds, carefully remove bowl and tuck in. Then we had the um, the two knickknacks. This was scampi and lemon, and this was rib and saucy. This one opened in the thing, and uh, it was similar to like a Cheeto, but maybe like a little more airy. Then we had the small chunk pickle. It was like um like a relish. Type. It says is a sweet pickle with small chunk mixed vegetables and spices. I think the best flavor one was the sensations. These are really, really good chips. But uh, Thai sweet chili. Last time it was something, something turkey, something as well, I think. No. Oh, last time was some kind of chicken meal. It tasted yeah. like five star chicken. Yeah. That was pretty much it. And the uh, the newspaper. So I guess if you got if you guys have some questions, we can uh, I can answer some questions or we can. I haven't been watching the chat this whole time, so if you guys have been saying stuff to me. I'm sorry. And uh, I'll answer your questions for a couple of minutes if you guys want. Uh, the pup's doing good. He's at home. Last night I took him out. Uh, last night I filmed for a constellation video, and I started to edit it last night, but it was getting really late, and I kind of gave up on it. So, uh, I took him with me to go shoot a lot of the pictures. So he had fun. He got in a little bit of trouble because he kept wanting to run off. I had to put him on a leash. I'm not gonna shave on live video. I actually, just not shaved here. this morning. <laughs> Jeff said not here. Blue Van Man has been really special. He's a really good guy. And um, actually, one day I was sitting at the house. It was my, it was my last day off. And uh, he went live on Instagram. And uh, I clicked on his Instagram. And he didn't know this, but uh, you can join another, just someone from the chat, right? And so he's just sitting there chatting with people. And then he, he like, uh, brought someone in in the chat with him. And it was just, like, some random kid that was sitting at home. And the kid loses his mind. He's just like, oh, my God. I want Blue Man Man. <laughs> he's just like, it was so funny. Blue Man was just laughing. He's like, I didn't even know I could do this. It was really cool. So then he just started bringing all these fans in and, then like, let them chat with him and stuff on Instagram Live. And then... um, I had no idea. Yeah, it was really cool. And uh, 
and then I actually went on there too. He called me, and then yeah, it was it was really cool. But uh, I noticed that he's got a lot of young people that are watching him. You know what I mean? And he's been a positive influence. I think really been a positive influence to those people. And I don't think before that he realized how many young people that he had watching him. You know what I mean? So yeah. he um, that's really cool. Is Jeff feeling better? Yeah, give me an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, the puppy's name is Aloha. Uh, I've told this before, but I found him on the side of the road in Texas, and he had a chip in his neck, and I got his neck scanned, and it registered back to a humane, Hawaii, uh, a humane society in Hawaii. So they called the owner like a bunch of times for like two weeks, and he never turned a call, so I just kept him. And I named him Aloha because he's from Hawaii. I skipped my nap today, but I'll make up a nap tomorrow or something. But we got the freezer moved in, and then there was work to be done before to clear a path for the freezer. But yeah, there's no twiglets this time, but they were pretty good last time. Yeah, I think these are probably the best. This would be the best if you had a salad. It's just kind of a, you know crunchy. Yeah. Or they, yeah. I don't know if I do. That would have gone, you know, sprinkled on top of that uh, spaghetti casserole. Had a little crunchiness to the top. I don't know. Definitely good in the salad. He said Dave Bautista has adopted two dogs. Did you see? Who's Dave Bautista? Oh, is it someone in the comments? I have no idea. Um... But I think adopting dogs is definitely a good thing. Um, I don't, I don't like encourage people to do it because it's just kind of if you want to, you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta want to have the dogs. Yeah, you have if to you're not, to. if you don't want them, then don't get them. Yep. Uh, Jeff, what do you plan on doing for Thanksgiving this year? You got any plans? I might. Yeah, I'm keeping it close to the vest. Things happen. You never know. But. Um, I have a friend named Robbie that I've been friends with since I was about like probably 14 and uh, his grandma just turned 90 this year and I was kind of thinking that it was possible I was going to make it out for Thanksgiving because they do a big Thanksgiving every year and I've never been out to his grandma's for Thanksgiving so I figured it'd be a good year to do it and this spring I picked a whole bunch of wild berries so I could take them down there for her so they're frozen at the house and I'm going to take them down there to her this year oh from the WWE we don't we don't watch we don't watch wrestling wrestling never have not big fans but that is very cool though that he did that I rode an elevator in Peoria Illinois with uh, I didn't know who it was till afterwards when I was getting off my friend saw me come off of the elevator with him dude you were on the elevator with Savage, Macho Man, say I don't know. <laughs> How are you not like cowering <laughs> in the corner? Uh, I would make you a moderator, but I don't. This isn't my phone. I'm not logged into mine, so I tried to do it and it wouldn't work. Um, yeah, I think Granny's gonna be really happy about the um, about the berries. And uh, oh, do we want to eat some? Let's eat some chocolate. Some chocolate. Oh, the yeah yeah. This is a. Uh, so yeah, these came today, and you're getting a sneak peek of my video. I made it to my P.O. box today, so I had, um, uh, well, this came from Birmingham, England, and these are Cadbury Curly Whirly. If it's anything like those flakes, they weren't so bad. Remember those flake ones? Yeah. They were, yeah, I put them in ice cream afterwards. You should have done that. That's a little too much, Ed. Oh, these are like thin things. I'm going to eat the meaty puds. I'm just going to do it later at the house when I can, uh, whatever, I can cook it. Because Jeff doesn't have his microwave set up and I don't want to mess up his kitchen. And his brand's making new. It's never been ran. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like some kind of rabbit or something? 
Oh, is it a bird's? What is it? Looks like a ladder. I thought it was gonna be like a a bird or something, mm -hmm. like a little chickens. I don't know. It's a lot. Oh, it might be like a DNA strip. Curly whirlies. Oh, it's just something. Not supposed to be anything. Is it caramel in there? Mm -hmm. It is. Oh, nice. Chewy. Take small bites. <laughs> mm hmm. Not so bad. Let's see. If I'm missing a question. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Seth Rogen's in the house. <laughs> Mars says, we have seven dogs. Two have been in my home for 10 years. Two we've had for seven years. Three for four years. But we get a dog, it stays forever. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of dogs. A lot of lovin's. I would be overwhelmed. I have one mutt and he's plenty to take care of. Someone said European chocolate is so much better than American chocolate. What do you think? What's the difference these days? Uh -huh. Mars Company owns. Does Mars Company own Cadbury? I don't know. Sure, I'd love to have seven dogs. No, not for me. Unless I had seven pastures to guard. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we'll figure we'll wrap this up. But I want to say thank you one more time to Blue Van Man for sending mm -hmm. the package and uh, his family too. And uh, I hope the best for them. And uh, thank you all for coming to watch. I got to walk all the way behind my camera, but thanks for y'all for coming to watch us eat some food again all the way from across the pond you want to tell them to take it easy take her easy everybody thanks for watching guys oh no i can't eat that